Hi there, welcome to GSTube TV, your one-stop shop for everything entertainment from celebrity gossip, news, lifestyle reports happening across the globe. We bring you BTS of all of our activities also. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like our videos and share with family and friends. Thank you for being a part of our community. Hello? Hello? Hello, hi. Bob, how you doing? I'm okay. Oh. You know, are you out yet? I'm not out yet. Oh my god. Okay, so quick, but I don't have enough time because, you know, mm. I just had to, I can't really, I don't, the reason why I'm even trying to talk to you about this is because obviously I've not been talking to anybody, I've not been. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. Grab a seat. Let's talk. We are talking very dark, man. We are talking Bob Risky. We are talking VDM. We are talking EFCC. We are talking VDM. We are talking SAN. We are talking Godfather. <laughs> All right. No time to let's not fall around. Let's let's get right into it. Now, very dark, man. You know the old saga that is currently happening with very dark, man. Bob Risky, Idris Okune, that is happening with the EFCC, was even, very dark man was invited by the House of Representatives. They had to go there, they had an airing, they had prison wardens there, they had EFCC, you know, officials there also to come say their own side of the story regarding the voice recording, that the voice call recording that very dark man released where Bob Brisky's voice could be heard telling the other person on the line some stories about how he was initially arrested for money laundering and then they had investigated. Oh, so before I go on, everything in this video is allegedly. All right, um, so it's time to give you people another court recording of Bob Brisky when he was in detention. Now, this one has a lot of details. This one is well detailed. So now go see how everything plays. You understand not the part two of the other one mm, this one is another one now this one was recorded on the 16th of may 2024 i've been sending me so much messages about how they responding because i don't want anybody to know i have my phone yeah so I don't... first things first i don't want anybody to know i have my phone that is why bob risky i've not been responding to people sending me messages but let's continue uh, I don't want to talk to the supposed guy, no, but uh, I can trust, yeah. you know, yeah. So, uh, obviously, you knew, you knew what happened to me, right? Mm -hmm. So, before the EFC, they, of course, they were, invest they were investigating me, mm -hmm. you know, about the cars, money, and everything, all this well. So, I knew one day, one day, they would come for me like this mm -hmm. because of the noise and all that, but it's, it's fine. So when they were investigating me, they blocked my account, they freezed my account. Obviously, they don't want me to do any transaction on it while they are doing the, mm. their ongoing investigation. Mm. Okay. Now, before we continue, the revelation of EFCC in the House of Rep, EFCC said they never froze his account. Now, Bob is saying his account was frozen. Let's continue. So, but I'm so glad that they did not, at first, they added money laundry charges in their yeah. in their charge because of the money they saw in my account and all the money that passed through my account at least they were able so they just saw so money share but were able to beg them mm -hmm. and give them some money so they can drop the money laundry charges with this mm -hmm. Now, he said they saw some money in his account and some money that passed through his account. So they investigated him for money laundry, but they begged and they paid the FCC some money and the money laundry charges were dropped. This is another recording entirely. So let's continue anyways. I can't be facing money laundry charges. Go for it. Spraying of money. I mean, so that one, I just that friend that looking for something to just hold me. They yeah. just eat that. Mm. It's not like I'm the only one that spread money. Yeah. There are a lot of people spraying money out there. Killing mm. But you choose, you want to uh, convince me because mm. of spraying money. And that's quite weird. Mm. But, you know, me, I'm strong. And I'm ready for anything that comes my way. Because, I don't know. I don't know. No, obviously, I knew the old envy, AIDS, the ATAR, 
she not only am, she not only am. I need one day, one day to get to this, you know. Yeah, and but, but, another thing that made me happy was the fact that they did a proper investigation on me and they noticed that I am not into money laundry mm. and I'm not into fraud. Yeah. Every money, the car, they came to my house, they carried my car now. They carried my car, they carried everything, you know, because they were doing... They, they thought coming to me, they will see people I do business with. So EFCC went to his house, they carried his cars. While we were out in the house of Red, EFCC said they did not freeze his account. Now, Bob Risky is saying his account was frozen and EFCC even went to his house to carry his car. Let's continue. This ring lights bless you on the week. WhatsApp or an email. But it's also that they were not able to find any, any of such. My money is legit. I keep saying this thing, but people don't believe. They keep, they think I'm into fraud or I'm into picking money for politicians or whatever. But they run a proper checkup and they couldn't even find any of that on me. All the money I have. This same person that is saying that they saw some money that passed through his account. Do you understand? After saying the truth the first time, like saying don't know, saying don't cast. In concretely try to the correct what he said. So in one breath, you are saying they saw some money in your account that you paid the FCC. In another breath, you're saying, oh, the money that you're having is a legit money. But let's continue anyways. All the money I have are genuine. And the sources are, are like most of my influencing, you know. Like that, that day I called it, oh, I want to pay me 10,000 pounds. And I think that it's for, it's for influencing. So, you know, like, people do they don't know how I charge, I charge a lot of money for influencing. They don't know, you know. So, but I made them to understand that I charge as far as $100,000 to influence. $100,000 for influencing. $100,000 for influencing. Is CFCC, you know, really, Nana, I'm really curious of the amount CFCC saw in this account. You understand? Ah, uh, okay, let's go on. So, if you think you cannot do it, all fingers are equal. If some other people do it, and trust me, God bless, God bless the also. Mm. So, you know, they did all that, and obviously, I met a very terrible judge. The judge was in coming. The judge wasn't fair as well. Coming, coming. He's not there. Okay, can you excuse me on the phone? Yeah. So. Wait, wait, wait. Before we continue, coming, coming, that means Bob Risky obviously had like a maid, like somebody helping him in the house. Obviously, this part you will know that he is not in prison. But the good part is that the person now asked him, let's continue. Um, where, where are you like this? Um. Um. Truth be told, I don't want to lie to you. You're my person. Mm. I'm not in prison, but I'm around there. They, oh. they go in an apartment, oh, you know, okay. because of my godfather. Mm. My god, my godfather was able to tell me, never, you will not see other prison. Let the world think you're it, but you could never, mm. you know. So I was able to talk to the deputy um, controller in Nigeria. And they said that in as much as both is not, both is looked. They only have a problem with Bob. If Bob is not posting anything, Bob is not saying anything, Bob is not doing anything, that they can put me close to the place. So I can always come inside and see people as I see. I'm welcoming my family yeah. that nobody needs to know, do you understand? So, you know, I have. So basically, Bob was put outside the prison, close to the prison in an apartment. So anytime he has like a visitor, he will quickly come inside the prison and welcome his visitor and his family members. Now, I remember that when we were at the House of Reps for the investigation, one of the prison wardens said, oh, he has the list of the people that came to visit Bob. So basically, anytime that Bob, people want to come and visit Bob, they'll quickly tell him to rush and come back to the prison to come and see the people that want to visit him. Let's continue. So I'm, I'm just close, I'm close to the premises, too, but I'm not in there because they are all scared of why do, why do we want to put you in a new facility where, you know, they are scared of um, harassment and everything. So, so but nobody knows this information, it's just you. Okay. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's that aside. Then, 
secondly, uh, my my cousin has done a lot. That's why I don't want to call you for any more requests because putting me out here alone in this apartment, I am well furnished apartments alone is is something he paid a whole lot. So Malaya called me and said, so they are trying he got me a Sam. My godfather got me a new Sam. So mm -hmm. now we are trying to get the pardon from the federal You heard the godfather gave him a son. He got him a son. Now in the other recording I played, he shared he spoke to Files and Files spoke to his father according to the other one and in this other one now he's saying that um his godfather got him his son meaning the story of the son i don't know if it's true but this is the second time he's calling his son in two different um conversation with two different people now um you heard him he said a well furnished apartment that his godfather got for him wow this is crazy i really want to know this godfather and i really want to know if this is how it works with the Nigerian prison. So let's ask ourselves the question, how many people really went to prison, all these big, big men, where they say that they to, did Evans the kidnapper actually go to prison? Now I'm really curious about the rich people that have gone to prison. But anyways, let's continue. Um, federal government, that's uh, from president. I'm trying to get a pardon. Are you there? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, so I'm trying to get a pardon from him. That is the only one that can actually take me out here ASAP. Normally, I'm supposed to finish my term by July. Mm. Or if I'm able to get the, the uh, amnesty, that's the pardon. I'm going to leave here in the first week of next month. Right. But the money he was asking for the loss. Well, it's a big sum, not just me, call a big money. Mm. So we should be 10 million. And that's the thing I can even transfer. Again, in the other recording, where he said he spoke to Files, and Files said he was going to talk to his father, he said they paid 10 million. Now again, he's saying that the son collected upfront of 5 million, and the total money the son requested was 10 million naira. However, in this part, he didn't call Files, and he didn't talk about the father. In this part, he just talked about his son. Do you understand? But in the other record, he, he made mention of a name. You know, okay. Well, anyways, let's continue. If I make some innuendos, <laughs> if not, I'm just okay. yeah. So, my godfather gave me five million. Uh, you know, I like he has done well. Say that so, again, sorry. Since I'm, say that again. Sorry, say that my godfather gave sorry. me five million. Uh, okay, five million. Yes, so he has done. I've set, set that one to him since last two weeks. So he has submitted oh. the pardon. All right. So they sent five million to the son. The son since last week, you know, he has submitted for the pardon. The whole money that they agreed was ten million naira. Now the first thing he said was, um, I don't want anybody to know I have a phone. Number two, ESCC froze his account. They saw some money. Then Bob begged them and paid them some money to drop charges. ESCC carried his cars. He initially said the FCC saw some money and he paid the FCC in the same breath. He's saying that it's legit. Okay. Now, when he was on this call, someone entered the apartment. That means he has like a housekeeper or a maid. Obviously, he was not in prison. And then he used his mouth to say that he was not in prison because his godfather said never. He is not going to prison. Do you understand? So now, for those of you that want to say, okay, this is AI generated, we need forensics. You understand? We'll take this to any lab so that they can authenticate if the call is true or false. Now, for those of you that are saying I defame Femi Falano or Faust or anybody, honestly, I didn't call nobody's name. Do you understand? Yeah, their name appeared. It's easy. They should go and do a forensics on all this call then if at the end of the day the call is true and bob actually told people about their involvement and maybe later they are not involved in it do you understand then they can ask bob brisky that why are you using our name why are you spreading lies about us do you understand uh -huh. because whether or not very dark man is the one that posted it this kind of news is not good if it is false if it is not true it don't stain on Kufeni Bidas now. It don't stain Faust the bad guy Bidas now. Because now so all this underground story, one day you will just see and pull. Ah, 
no be no be family from land away collect money from Bobriski, no be far so you know they need to clear their name of this thing all instead of saying you go file a charge against very dark man for an innuendo you need to actually clear your name properly from this mess this is a mess this is a very big mess it is you understand so instead of now to come the threatening vdm wanna go do the right thing you people should ask for this audio to do to do a forensics on the call it's not a recording it's a call recording it's not a sound recording or audio maybe they record that no we should go and do the proper investigation and let very dark man rest thank you very much corruption have no place in nigeria we should join on together to kick corruption out do you understand we should join us together to kick corruption out of nigeria and out of the system peace and love don't play like i said i fear nobody my only intention was to expose corruption and that's just about it yep, i don't take light anyways peace and love don't play else you're gonna learn and you're gonna learn the hard way and he had to pay them 15 million naira and all of those things and all of those things and how he was not even in prison this man was sentenced to three months imprisonment um having been found guilty of defacing the naira devaluing i mean not devaluing defacing the naira and basically you know spraying the naira and all of those things and he said that he was not actually in a prison yard it was in a well-furnished apartment because his godfather apparently said no way you're going to be in prison right now, Very Dark Man has come to release another audio recording. So apparently, this person that Bob Risky owed four millionaire to, who he first initially had that conversation with, where he told all of those stories to, in order for them to give him. See, guys, guys, let me tell you what I think. Let me just say it first. I think all of the story that Bob Risky told, you know, so we have two voice recordings now, and both recordings i'm going to talk about the second one in this video but i was just i just figured something out but recordings i just feel like the you know when you want to loan you want to lend money from somebody you want to borrow money and you have to go tell them the genesis of your problem so they wouldn't think that you are useless or that you're not doing anything reasonable with your life right but you just have to give them some backstory and just to gain sympathy and stuff i think that was what Bobriski was doing like he had to tell them the backstory that oh see i already don't think i'm broke right i'm coming to you because i need money i already paid a 15 million naira to do these charges to get this money laundry charges off my neck i already had to pay for furnishing apartments and don't also think that i've run out of favor from some persons because some persons have also given me money this godfather gave me this amount this person gave me this amount you understand so now this is where i stand i'm trying to get presidential pardon and i need a certain amount of money i've, I've even raised some of the amounts my account was frozen do you understand i think that is what he was trying to do in the in these videos because he was speaking to two different entities in this video and he was telling them um sort of identical stories now what is the take home from this second audio recording i'm not going to really bore you with all of the things he said he said oh he didn't, did not want anybody to know he had his phone so he had not been responding to messages and whatnot and the person was like okay so where exactly are you I'm, like, uh, mm, I'm not in prison per se i am close to the prison so that if i need to appear in the prison yard like if somebody wants to come see me and i need to be on ground because you know it's it's not supposed to be public knowledge that i am actually not resident in the correctional facility right but i'm being lodged somewhere in a well-furnished apartment he did he emphasized well furnished we could even hear him talking to somebody in the course of being of the of the phone call somebody came in there was a door opening and person was like oh, and all that it's indicating that he was even able to take visitors or maybe he had a maid i don't even know who that person was but he had physical interaction with some other persons outside of the prison he said that he had to beg them because he froze his accounts because of the amount of money that was in his account and the inflow you know it's a different thing for you to have a certain amount of money in your account it's a different thing for them to look at the inflow and the, where these monies are coming from and for them to have questions so he said he had to be investigated they said the money in your account is a little bit too much and that um the inflow is a little bit too much and they froze his account so he had to they had they even took his car 
and all that but according to very dark man at the hearing that you know the as of rep thingy he said that ESCC officials said they didn't investigate Bobriski for money laundering or anything they didn't freeze his account but this is Bobriski telling somebody on the phone that his account was frozen so is this Bob because some persons in the comment section are saying Bobriski is just like what I mentioned earlier it's just giving backstory and because of the kind of person he is he needed to he needed to hype himself a little he needed to make it look like he had things all figured out you know starting with freezing of account so it shouldn't be like there's no money in his account because he said that they carried down their investigation and they found out that the money in his accounts were actually legit so why did you have to beg them with 15 billion naira as you have said in two different audio recordings of you that we have allegedly this is your voice you know that that has been made public why did you now insist to those two persons that you had to pay 15 million naira initially to get the money laundering charges off do you understand but he now said it investigated and found that the money in his account was legit that he, he, he charges as much as as i as hundred a hundred thousand dollars for an influencing job i mean that's a lot of money but yeah that it, it does he gets so he gets a lot of money in his accounts from influencing a loan right so he said that so it's like maybe this man was just trying to hype himself because we can tell that the bottom line of this is him wanting to seek financial favor if you recall that when very dark man mentioned Faust's name Faust was like he reached out to me to beg for money and i did not give him money so it's like when he came out of prison also you know that he he went on a long post he made a long post saying women are these women are that and just gave him the amount of money and this particular very dark man that is refusing to see this link this very dark man also came online to say oh so all of these celebrities that we are that are saying oh and bad and bad governors this one that one they are also supporting this man low-key maybe very maybe for brisky also called these guys to beg for money and they gave him so now instead of him to thank them for borrowing him money or lending him money he said they gave him money there's a difference do you know i'm sure i just want us to look at this thing in a different view but we are still going to continue on the, continue on this video on the on the audio recording that that has not been made public now in the first audio recording he mentioned that files called his father that files called him and introduced him to his father who then said you can get your presidential pardon but the ministry of justice and whatnot needs 10 million naira and all that instead he told this person that oh his godfather said you can't go to prison you're going to get your presidential pardon so he, I, I, an san he's been talking to an, a certain san he didn't mention Faust's father's name right so he said certain SCN has been talking to the person they are trying to get him amnesty and all that that the person requested for 10 million naira they had paid 5 million naira up front so that's like that's where it was going to he needs 5 million naira maybe any amount you can give me out of the 5 million naira just help my life i'll repay you as soon as i get out right i just want to be free that's what the situation was about so we don't even know what the SCN is now <laughs> i don't know i don't know but since you already mentioned Faust's father initially although um Femi Fallon or san did grant an interview with channel television where he said he never had a, a relation he never had a conversation with Bobriski. himself and Bobriski did not have any conversation so maybe he just wanted the person to i don't know see at this point i don't know what to believe but somebody is like why are you taking bob's words seriously why are you taking bob's word seriously someone says he may have a separate cell this is amuda to raola he may have a separate cell and he's doing buga for his collar some people hype themselves for you to think that they are better off than everyone and they're enjoying their influence don't get me wrong bob could have paid the fcc but i don't think he was placed in a flat it's too risky for him to indulge in that but they could have taken money from him someone else is saying at this point bob Risky should be sentenced to live imprisonment with all of his accomplices and those involved in this entire scandal this situation is beyond shocking Godfatherism is another major issue plaguing this country. Just look at the boldness and audacity Bobriski displays. The authorities, especially the EFCC, should be shut down immediately for their role in perpetuating this level of corruption. It is overwhelming, and now I am completely convinced that VDM's findings are 100, 1,000 actually percent accurate. We need to take this to court. Better yet, to the international crime criminal to the international criminal court because the level of impunity is staggering. It's time for real action against this systemic corruption. 
another person is saying help but risky at your own peril risky business indeed someone is saying this is enough for us to understand that this guy is a broke ass nigga telling people all sorts of stories to get money from them he needed to cook different stories for different people to get money from them he didn't talk to any SAN. he's just trying to get money to fund his private accommodation and pay the prison officers as opposed to all the stupid stories he's telling people government supposed to jail the guy for five years and ensure he serves his term in federal prison in another state another person is saying he FCC has been doing investigation since a week now but no result up to now someone else said reality check is saying it is evident that big bob it is evident that bob's words are not adding up he or she fake stories to gain sympathy to get money from people so anyone taking him or her serious is bob's is bob risking themselves i don't understand what that part is someone says bdm you know get sense so you know confirm i'm saying a different thing talk for the call wait to make um no no what me bro i don't know what that person is saying <laughs> someone is saying there are so many ramifications to this but risky matter but i will pick on just a few points indeed his running mouth to be his undoing according to him he has so much money to the point he caught the attention of efcc also when he came out of prison some celebrities gifted him millions of naira so why did he find it difficult to pay back the four million that guy allegedly lent him that guy allegedly lent him Secondly, why has it not been rearrested and investigation commenced in the light of all these revelations? Lastly, why is Fowles, his sister and their dad attacking VDM rather than coming for Bobrisky for bringing up their names in his phone conversation? So yeah, guys, all of these different opinions shared by different people. So when that person is saying day by your side, we need to support Very Dark Man for a better Nigeria. He is God sent my people. God have sent VDM to Nigeria. We have to protect and support him. May God bless you, my bro, for the truth. You know, someone is saying VDM should calm down because I think Fowles and his father Falano are scared of Bob's godfather. We mount you, men mount. So yeah. I just want to hear you guys' opinion concerning all of this situation that I've put that I've pent down. I mean that I've told you. This gist it's I don't think it's ending anytime soon. So like I'm is this very dark man against Bob Risky or very dark man against efcc or i don't i don't even know babriski did respond to the video babriski said no city your patient have escaped though <laughs> that's actually funny you have to give him that anyways i would like to hear your opinions in the comment section new revelations concerning babriski's but it is for a fact we've established it in the amount of two or three witnesses is established bob was not in prison good cool great but every other thing surrounding it is what we need answers to. So let's see how all of this is going to unfold. I'm quite eager to hear it happen. Um, let's see where we'll move on from here. What is the FCC going to say? What is the Minister of Interior going to say? What is the prison of um, this thing in Nigeria? Connect correctional system services in Nigeria. What are they going to say? They're very much interested in seeing how it progresses. And when we have updates, trust me, I am bringing it for your vain pleasure. So click on the bell icon. Don't just subscribe. You should subscribe. If you are not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? subscribe click on the bell icon so that you would know when we have new updates for you i'll be waiting for you to do that okay thank you like this video also and bye